to meditate or not meditate, to do breath work, to not do breath work. That's the question. And what I want to come back to you guys with here is did a little experiment. So one week did nothing but breath work during the morning or the day, like first thing in the morning, first six to five, five to six hours of waking up. Next week, I did nothing but breath work as a part of my night routine. And again, everything else is typically the same in my life. I'm pretty regimented. So uh, the amount of sleep I got, the exercise I was doing, the way I was eating, the way I was managing stress throughout the day, all those things. The only thing that changed was when I did my breath work and the results were really cool. And here's what I want to bring up with you. And it's not that this is the only way to do it. That's what I want to come back to is it's helping you guys understand how HRV is actually helping us bring awareness to what habits work for us and what habits don't. And so if you see here, this was where I was doing breath work during the morning or during the day, okay? And I did not do it at night. And so we see here that over the course of this week, okay, Sunday through Friday, it actually dropped HRV. And now again, my typical range for this time frame was 88 to 101. Uh, again, average is a little bit lower, but what we actually see is we see that downward trend. And the downward trend is telling me that, hey, you know what? It's not the breath work is bad. A lot of people would say, oh, well, that means breath work's bad for you. No, it just means the timing that I'm doing it at is not helping alleviate the stress that I'm feeling throughout the day. And because of that, we need to bring awareness to that. So there's going to be a better time frame for me. Between literally Monday through Friday, my HRV dropped over the course of the entire week, meaning, hey, Breath work at that time as a stress reliever, as something that puts me in a better mindset is not working. So why would I continue to keep leaning into that? The data is telling me to do something else. Thus, I need to adapt. Adaptability is the sequence and the secret to performance. That's it. And so by looking at this, we can ultimately start to go, hey, you know what? For Justin, breath work during the day or in the morning is not optimal. Now, what happens if we do it at night? And that's where everything started to change. And that's where everything starts to look and you go, oh, wow, this is really, uh, if I share my screen appropriately with you guys, this is really interesting. And so if we look at it, we now see the opposite effect where we see an upward trend Sunday through Friday. We see an upward trend in HRV. And again, typical range over this seven day period was 93 to 101 or 93 to, uh, 93 to 103. So literally, if you take a look at it, is the average changes and it actually impacted the way that I was able to alleviate stress. It helped me in a greater way. So why would I not continue to make my night routine involved with breath work? Because it's helping get rid of some of that stress, helping my body adapt to the stress load that I'm placing on it. Because there were no other stressors that were different. They were all very similar. And that's, I think, the biggest thing that we want to come back to is that we now have a better understanding as to how breath work impacts me and how it's ultimately relieving the stress and, quite frankly, affecting the data. Because that's not my subjective feeling. That's actually what is going on. That's actually how my body's responding. That's actually what's going on internally. And again, like I said all the time, I trust God, everything else, show me the numbers. And so this is the unique part about this is that there's some real impact that's going on. And this could be with anything. This is why I'm doing these series. This is why I'm showing you the studies that are there, the, the, the data that's here, is that there's something purposeful and intentional and actionable that we need to bring awareness to that has a way for us to now determine what actions we're taking. So again, this doesn't mean that breath work is bad. It doesn't mean that breath work is gonna work at night for you. It's what works for me. And that's how we use HRV to help determine what those action steps are. So if you wanna try this, start taking breath work at different times a day. Notice what happens to your HRV, especially first thing in the morning. Are you recovering well? What does that baseline number look like and how is it being impacted? Go on it.